In this video, we're going to take a quick look at the tool Quizzes. Quizzes is a great way to gamify the classroom, to make summative assessments or review sessions uh, fun and engaging for students. The first thing I want to point out to you is that Quizzes provides excellent support. So at any point in time I have a question about what, what I need to do or something I want to accomplish, I can click the Help tool uh, and it will give me excellent support, a uh, helpful article. If I go to the My Quizzes tab, I have some quizzes here, and we'll talk about these in a minute. But if I click on this particular quiz, there's a couple different ways to uh, provide this game experience for my students. One would be hosting a live game, uh, one would be assigning as homework, and one would be for uh, solo practice for students. You notice these little question marks gives me a brief description of what those different modes are. And again, I can always go into the Help folder and find more details. If I click to host a live game, there's a couple different options here. I can do team, classic, or more of a traditional test. If I assign to classes, this is a new feature, this will allow students to join, uh, in particular through the app or online through a web browser, without needing a game code. There's advanced settings, um, some delivery options, and how you can view answers and feedback. And then here's some kind of the, the fun operational aspects of the game so I can use power-ups <clears throat> again feel free to learn more about that I can set a timer or not have a leaderboard where there's points and there's a redemption question which is really cool gives students a opportunity to answer a question that they got incorrect and then the ability to use memes so the program has some kind of default memes that you can select from and it shows these means, memes between questions to make it fun and engaging. And you can also go into the memes uh, link over here and create your own memes. And because I don't have students where I can host this game, <coughs> excuse me, as a live game, I'm going to go back to the My Quizzes, click on this quiz, and show you the practice mode and what this sort of looks like for students. So as a participant, I can choose to have the timer, choose to show memes, or use the power-ups. Let me go ahead and play. So you can see basically it's going to count down and show me the question. Uh, based on the question that I have, I answer the question. It tells me whether I'm right or wrong. And here's one of the memes that it shows for me. And then it shows a uh, leaderboard with points. So as I continue to answer these questions, again, you see another meme. This makes it fun. And then here I am within the leaderboard. Now, because I got a question wrong, I can answer the question again to give me an opportunity to earn more points there. Now, what I'm noticing in this quiz is the questions are not timed. If the questions were timed, I would have a timer on this screen showing me where I'm at um, as far as the clock for answering the question. Now, real quick, how do I construct a quiz? So I can click the Create a Quiz button. And so here's a blank quiz. I give the quiz a name. I choose the subject that the quiz is related to. I can create a new question here. So I can type in the text of my question. I have an equation editor. I can upload media. I can choose to have it to be a single or multiple answer type of question. And then I can type in each answer choice. Again, similar formatting. And I would tell it which one is the correct answer. I can add additional answer options. I can even tag standards. If I'm in a K-12 particular state, uh, tag the standards related to this quiz. And then I can individually set the time for uh, how long I want the quiz, uh, this question in particular, to display. I can see a preview um, as I continue to build that quiz. I can set a global time, which will override each of those individual times as well. And I can make this private or public. Making it public will allow other instructors to see that quiz, to be able to download and copy for themselves. I can also, when creating a quiz, choose a tele teleport button. This allows me to search for particular topics, look at other people's quizzes, and when it, within a particular quiz, if I like any question, I can choose to add and put that on my quiz. I can edit to my liking any particular question that I find. When I'm done building, I click Finish Quiz, give it a name, upload a picture, and then it is available under the My Quizzes. Now I can also choose to find a quiz, and when I find a quiz, I can search for particular topics, I can scroll, find somebody else's quiz here, I can save to my quizzes folder, I can choose to edit as well, and I can even just launch this game as provided. 
Some of the other tools here are reports. Once I've launched a quiz, I would have uh, data based on the players. I can organize my quizzes via classrooms, as I mentioned earlier. I can also organize my quizzes just in collections to make it easier for me to find. And I can create my own memes to use those if I wish to. Again, Quizzes is a great tool for gamifying your course, and the site has lots of help and resources to help you get started and continue building exciting quizzes for your students.